it doesn't say who was the first. I said, well, if you know the Bible and you know the Word, the Bible says in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Oh, God, and that same Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And when Jesus got out of here, he said, I'm going to send my spirit, which is the Holy Ghost that will lead and guide you to all truth. But understand this, it was still the Word. Hallelujah. So now the Bible said that God breathed into the nostrils of Adam, and Adam became a speaking spirit. So if God breathed into Adam, the only thing he could breathe into him is the Holy Spirit. Well, God, when I said that, it was some folks that looked at me crazy. They thought I had started a cult. I said, I thought I was in an apostolic church. Y'all saying, oh God, to believe in one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Oh God, I tell them, no matter how you slice it, it still comes up Jesus. Because God was in the beginning, and the word was with God. And the word became flesh. So when God breathed into Adam, he breathed into him the Holy Spirit. And he became a speaking spirit. But now Adam turned it all in. Because of his wife. Oh God. I'm going to stop right there. I'm not going to say that. 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 Then I'm back up and rewind. He did it because of Eve, but not for the reasons we think. The Bible says, what fellowship can darkness have with light? And because Adam was still in a godlike state, when Eve partook of the fruit, there was an immediate change. And he could not fellowship with his bride any longer. So in order to rekindle the fellowship, Adam had to take the place like it's Christ and to take sin unto himself to reconcile his bride back to him. So yes, he did it for Eve so that he could rekindle the love that he had for his bride. Now that we got that out of the way, but now the church is in a God, a messed up scene. She lost her way. She can't find it. Hallelujah. We, we had many prophets and people that tried to lead us back on the right path. Oh God, he called for Moses. But when Moses got frustrated and God told him to speak to the rock, Moses struck the rock and missed the promise. Oh God, we talk about David. And the Bible says that David was a man after God's own heart. But David's hands, oh God, were also dirty because he could not, oh God, deny his flesh. And instead of going on with what God had wanted him to do, he took on to himself, oh God, another wife that was not his own. So now David was now disqualified. Hallelujah. And it was this one and that one. So I figured that God looked over the annals of time. And he said, oh God, now 42 generations have passed. Now it's time for me to make my grand appearance. To put the church back in order. I'm so glad that Jesus came for somebody that was just up like me. Oh God, done it because I was messed up, oh God. I was all messed up from the floor to my head. Oh God, there was no good about me. But when I was yet a sinner, Christ still died for me. I'm so glad that when I couldn't find my way, God came down and found me. Hallelujah. And led me back to the cross. Oh God, and said, come on to me. Burn and heavy laden, take my yoke upon me, learn of me. Oh God, I'm so glad that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. 
somebody uh, to give me an extreme makeover uh, because I had tried uh, the 12-step program uh, and I fell on step number two. Uh, I went to this guru and that guru uh, that told me they could show me the way, uh, but I couldn't get with it. Uh, but when I got sick and tired uh, of trying everything else, uh, I went back uh, to my I'm so glad that he loved me enough to bring me back unto himself. I'm so glad that even when I messed up, the blood still works. I'm so glad when I fell short, he still picked me up, dust me off, gets me on my forehead, put a holy ring on my finger, and said, you're still my son. Uh, he led captive, 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 captivity 
Upon 